Hello everyone and welcome to this look at Hallworks Legacy. This is not technically a full review, but this is my first impressions of the game. Uh, one of the first things I do want to get out is that, unfortunately, I do know, first of all, you know, about the whole controversy thing. I don't care. I just want to play a good game. That's me personally. So, you know, each to their own. Besides, technically, when you think about it, the Wizarding World that she created with Harry Potter and so on is going to outlive her. It outlived, uh, you know, Tolkien and Lord of the Rings. It's going to outlive Gene Roddenberry and Star Trek. And definitely outlive um, Star Wars and George Lucas. So, and all the other shows, too. So, I don't have any problem there. I love this game, too, by the way. My only little catch is that I haven't had, as much as it pains me to say this, the time I would want to play this. Um, when we got this game, I got a notification that um, those of us who got, you know, the Deluxe Edition pre-orders, we were going to be able to pick them up at 9. I went out, grabbed my game, got it home as quickly as I could, popped it in, and uh, I've been playing it ever since. Uh, the problem is, that night I was too tired to do anything. We had just had a really hectic day. The next morning, bright and early, I'm up playing. I'm just having a grand old time, in. Definitely worth it. Um, and I got to enjoy it before I went to work. Unfortunately, that night I was so beat because we had just a massive day that I just went to bed early. Um, and I basically been playing it every morning and then sometimes during the rest of the days until Friday. And then I was just able to dive in. And also because it was payday, I was also able to finally get my Xbox version of the game. So I've actually been able to play the game on both the 5 and the Series X. And I can't wait to get my hands on at least a 4 or the 1. Because I do actually have an Xbox One S. But also my Switch version. I really want to see what it's going to be like on the Switch. Because I'll be able to take it wherever I want. Which is cool because the only other Harry Potter game I own is for my Game Boy. Believe it or not. I still own a Game Boy. I have a Game Boy Advance and it lets me play these games. And I have a... The Chamber of Secrets, which in the Game Boy Colors case is an old uh, turn-based like Final Fantasy RPG game. It's actually pretty cool. Um, this game is really fun. It's set into missions. You do a lot of stuff. You'll go and, you know, do certain things. And each class you attend, you are basically able to learn stuff and, you know, see the life that you're leading, which is really cool. But at the same time, you have all these other missions that happen. It's just a great game in that regard. The combat is actually, um, to be fair, strong. It's actually stronger than I thought it was going to be, which is pretty cool. The game is much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, in fact, um, let's show you a little bit here. Um, you're going to get a little bit here. We have two characters. Here's my uh, first character. Um, that I made. She's with uh, Slytherin. And actually, the stuff behind you changes a little bit depending upon what you've done in the game. I've actually noticed this because of a few things. So it's pretty cool. And um, she'll be my Slytherin playthrough. The next character is going to be a Gryffindor playthrough. And I still have to do two more characters because you have to play all the houses to get certain achievements and trophies and stuff. So if you're trying to platinum this one on the 5 or just get everything on the series, you're going to have to do this. But the graphics are actually very um, stable. Also, if you can notice her coat, that is one of the pre-order bonuses for the Deluxe Edition. And that is pretty cool. And you can actually choose the look you want for these characters, by the way, too. So with everything that you collect in the game, you can also choose to sell stuff you don't need anymore, but you still get the option to keep the cosmetics. And there are actual cosmetic look things in the game that you unlock through certain challenges. And yes, the boar's head is moving. Um, so that's pretty cool. And it does allow you to make your own unique character. And I, I just like this, making this character that looks, that's got this one dark item and then is all slither. And I'm going to probably do this for all the other houses too. And you can actually affect how you play, how your character does stuff, the stories you do. It's actually pretty cool. And look, you can actually see the Slytherin logo right there. And um, you can make out level 15. Here's the other character. 
And if this was starting with him, we wouldn't see anything back there. He's um, going to be my Gryffindor. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do for uh, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. But I'm looking pretty good. Also, we have three options when it comes to graphical points. You actually have a very good frame rate edition. You have a performance edition. And then you have performance with ray tracing. And that's what I recently done in. And I always thought the ray tracing was on from the way the game looks. But I don't know for certain. It could be. It could not. I just don't know. I'll actually have to do a little experimenting with that one. But the graphics are good in either form. The frame rate mode is actually very stable and very fresh and very good looking. Thank God. There are some games which when they prioritize frame rate, they suck. This one doesn't, thank God. Oh, thank you, sweet Jesus. And it's just that good. I mean, this is a very good game. Now, here's some differences between the X and the 5. Because um, I have played both games on both systems. So you do need to be made aware of this. First off, in terms of the frame rates, the graphics, the control handling, they're all pretty much the same. You know, except for like the little differences on how you per you do stuff with the, the 5 in the series. But otherwise they play very similar. I'd have to get an S to understand how it plays there. But you're getting the hint. It's very, very stable, very good. Um... In controller-wise, though, there is one little catch here, and that is while both of them have good um, rumble features, the 5, because of its haptic feedback, actually feels a lot better. And it's really incredible. I can feel things through it that I'm like, whoa, that's that's cool. Um, and But the Xbox does not play around either. It has very good controls, but it's nowhere near, I would say, as efficient as the haptic in the 5. The, the controller for the 5 also, its lights change color. And I've even noticed that you can actually hear your spells starting their casting. Like how your wands in your hand, how you cast, it starts at sound and then follows through with the rest of the TV. And you can actually hear a few things through that. I do wish Microsoft would do that. That would be a cool feature for them. But it's definitely something Sony won the day on. The other thing Sony won the day on is, of course, the extra mission in Hogsmeade, which is this haunted castle stuff. So that's something else to put up with. The final one, though, however, is also just a major thing when it comes to, you know, uh, the performance of these two systems. Remember, Sony went really into game performance. And to create, I would say, probably one of the cleanest game performances out there. Their hard drive was made to give developers certain options you're not going to get anywhere else. And I'm afraid on this Series X's case, it's the first time I've actually been disappointed or actually seen those. Um, and on this game's case, it's a big deal. On the 5, I have fast-traveled or started certain missions, and I've seen a black screen appear only for a second. That's it. Only for a second. And even when you're going through the massive open world and you're going so fast that um, the game kind of almost stops you so it can load, it's like for a second. This little blue circle. Kind of like my, uh, you know, this right here that's moving around. And that's it. And it's like for a second. And then it loads like really fast. And... All of that is like super fast, super fast, super fast, super fast. On, unfortunately, the Series X's case, God, I hate admitting this, but I love my Series X. I've actually seen a loading screen with hints. I'm not kidding. You, don't not, you do not get that on the 5. You don't get that on the 5. But you will get that on the Series X. And I'm like, holy, I mean, just literally, holy crap it's the one thing i'm a little disappointed at right there it's like damn because i've been so used to like just rapid fire getting through it and it's so cool in that regard but now it's like oh god no no don't don't do this i just want to get into the game and it's so annoying there's also an additional content thing here and stuff we're going to um go in and play his story real quick we're still in the intro he hasn't even decided on his house yet. And it's pretty cool. 
And like I said, it loads up pretty quick. Here's a cutscene. It's actually really cool. The graphics are really great. <laughs> yeah, this guy gives off a Gryffindor vibe. So here's this little gameplay. You actually have this. You'll actually brew this potion, by the way, in potions class. And the room requirement will become very important in the gameplay later. I mean, there's just so much content. Um, unfortunately, there is one little catch here. Well, there's a couple, but the biggest catch is right now in these cutscenes, I cannot pause or skip them. Believe me, there's times I've wanted to pause them so I can, you know, like get something to eat or other things. And you cannot do that. Here with the movement, there's some water. Water is one of the best ways to see um, and reflective zones to see the ray tracing in action. Ooh, the lighting is actually a little better now. That that's just cool. Like I said, I cannot skip this to keep going even if I want to. This is the biggest problem. Um, I've also seen my character literally uh, clip through characters that are not ghosts. And, um, you know, the doors fly right through what should be my face and other characters and stuff. That's about the worst thing this game has thrown at me in terms of that kind of stuff. So, kind of get used to it. So that is about the worst. I am going to admit, though, like, everything here is just beautiful. The graphics, the, the ground, I mean, it, it tells us a lot. Well, at least he didn't say for another time. Or, I don't have time to tell you that I don't have time. <laughs> Look at that right there. That's ray tracing, I believe, right there. I think that's what I saw earlier. I wonder what happened if I just put it on full performance without any kind of stuff. There's a lot of stuff here. And even here at this point, there's actual stuff to find, um, which is pretty cool. There is a currency system. And yeah, it does take a little bit to get to brooms and the rides. I do want to warn that ahead of time. It's actually a lot of fun. Ah, here we go. First time we'll get to see some combat. And that is just a beautiful... Pretty cool, huh? And then you got these popping up to give you a little information. Which, by the way, this actually does true prove to be pretty helpful. So I'm not complaining. Let me watch. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. And right over there is a chest with money. <laughs> I 
I can't help it. I like shooting them. You never know. And we got 57 gold from that, which is pretty cool. Now watch this. I'm going to end the video pretty soon, but I wanted to get this in. <laughs> I like how that one falls. Even after they repaired it, it's like, eh, no, I'm going to stay broken. <laughs> yeah, there's so much that's destroyable in this environment, in this whole world is just incredible the level of detail the graphics lighting this this is really a game that was built for the next gens um my only catch is we're still not done this is just an initial playthrough which is probably in my case around 10 maybe 12 hours and also having to start over again for the other profiles and also for another system entirely but it is worth it i do recommend this game and I think anybody else would recommend this game too. There's just so much quality here. So, you know, just, you know, just have fun. And I'll see you guys later. And like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And I hope you enjoy your gaming. Bye.